So if I had any singing ability whatsoever, I'd sing a little song called That Barn is on Fire in the style of Alicia Keys. Hey guys, what is up? This is Bay Stared, and as you can see, upon careful evaluation, uh, we have a little bit of structural damage that has occurred to our barn. It's a little thing I like to call don't mix wood and wool with lava. So that seems uh, pretty obvious, pretty straightforward. Like I said, uh, we have some uh, wood that burned. And I'm going to get right to showing you as to why. Oh, sneak preview. You got to see it. Uh, the cool thing is, oh, really kind of weird. It's sort of weird right now. Sorry if it's... It's very sensitive. I don't know what's happening. I don't know how to fix it. Uh, anyways, what you'll see straight away is, so this looks cool, right? Uh, I mean, I agree. Looks awesome. Thematic element. I was going for like this awesome lava wall. And I'm going to get back to uh, finishing that side up and showing you how I did it here in just a minute. But I wanted to at least show you. Uh, so the problem is, when I started making this thing, you can tell from right about here to here, I didn't put the top row of glass in. And I'll show you what I mean by that in a minute, but I didn't put it in straight away, and we obviously had a big problem. So uh, I will be right back. Um, I have to try to fix something, and I'm going to try uh, stopping and starting the recording. and. Uh, figuring out what's going on because this thing is acting really weird. It probably doesn't look weird at all to you, and so uh, it doesn't make any sense. But I'll be right back. Okay, guys, I'm back. Sorry about that. Uh, it was something to do with my recording software, and I was monkeying with some of the settings, and I fixed it now. Because uh, while the first part of the video you won't be able to tell, um, there was just some weirdness as far as what I'm looking at on the screen, and it wasn't going to work for me. So anyways, just to recap... From here to here, you can tell where these blocks didn't get burned. I left that open and uh, it started a fire. So through the magic of editing, I'm going to start rebuilding this stuff, but I'm not going to uh, rebuild it all right here. Uh, in fact, I'm going to go ahead and cut right now, and when you guys come back, I'll basically have uh, most of this done. So I'll be right back again. All right, dude, so I'm back, and awesome. Everything is fixed through the power of nonlinear. Oh, I say everything is fixed. Crap. Now I look like an idiot. <clears> through <throat> the power of nonlinear digital editing, uh, you didn't have to watch me rebuild the barn. I don't really know whether I'm going to put that in as a fast-forward thing or whether it just won't appear. I don't know yet, but at any rate, you can see the barn is back. <clears throat> So let's get back to what I was doing. Uh, well, let me just show you these, and I'll show you how to make them here in a minute. These are item frames. These are the things I was talking about before, uh, which will give us an indication. It gives me a visual clue as to where my stuff is. So on this one, I know the one on the left is up, and the one on the right is down. That's just how I remember it in my brain. So in this case, I have dirt on top and dirt on bottom. No big deal. And in this case, I know that wool and things will be on top, which there isn't any, but let's just jam some in there. And I know that sand and things will be on bottom. When I say and things, because you make glass out of sand. You take sand, put it in a furnace, and it makes glass. So I have my sand and things over here. I'll make some more item frames uh, in a minute. I'll show you guys that. Um, but let's get back to what I was doing. And now I am on a bit of a mission because I don't remember where I put it. Uh, all my stuff. Ah, here we go. Cool stuff. I don't really know. I'm going to have to segment this out a little bit better anyways. But for now, I'm going to grab myself a bunch of buckets of lava. Because that is something that I was working on. And then I'll run down here and show you what I was doing when I derped it all up. So... First things first, I had two fires, actually. Uh, one of them was right over here. 
I had made this little, what I thought would be cool, kind of have this decorative lava element that was going to pour down here. I'd love to show it to you, but when I did, it set this floor on fire, and I lost a few pieces. I was lucky that I just happened to be standing there when it happened, um, because I was able to put it out right away, and it really didn't cause too much damage. Uh, oh yeah, I put these in too, by the way. I don't know if I showed you that or not last time, so I'll show it to you right now. Uh, double doors. Oh. So, note to self. Uh, you can't, <laughs> that was the dumbest thing ever. You can't open iron doors from the wrong side. Don't forget that. There's a freebie. Uh, what I mean by the wrong side is, uh, when I get on the outside of these doors, uh, there's no button for me to push. So, I actually need to install a button on the other side uh, to open up these doors, and we'll get to that uh, later. So, <clears throat> back to the story. If you'll remember, it was somewhere in here. I don't know exactly which blocks it was. What I did was I had partially finished this new lava wall, but I had not put this top piece of glass in. Well, apparently it was too close to the wood, caught on fire. That stinks. But what I am going to show you is how I did finish this. So if you ever wanted to make something like this for yourself, uh, here's how you do it. So what I will do is grab my shovel, grab my pickaxe, and... I will, so it's going to happen, I don't think it has to happen that fast before the dirt catches on fire, or before the blocks catch on fire, but I'll knock these out pretty quick and then I'll just make it happen pretty quick. So what you're going to notice is from the corners that I made, the lava is already sort of taking over, right? I just look to where I can see it, so I can't see it here, so I'm going to put this there, and then I'm going to put another one here, and then I look to where the next one goes, and it stops right there, so I'm going to put this one here. And I'm going to put this one here, and that should fill them all in. And then what I didn't do, I didn't have enough lava, so I didn't cover it back up. <clears throat> well, when I went away for a minute and came right back, this stuff was on fire and it was burning like crazy. So what I have to remember is get this glass in here. Boom, like that. <clears throat> and then I can knock these out carefully. And you don't have to move too quick because lava doesn't move that fast. Uh, you just have to move quick enough so that you don't end up uh, burning yourself down. So place that one there. Good to go. Come over here. I'll grab this one first, which is the more dangerous of the two. Grab that one up. Place the glass. Boom. Now I think, and you guys are surely free to tell me in the comments whether you think this is cool or not, but it almost doesn't matter what you say, to be perfectly honest. I'm still going to think it's cool. I don't need these torches right here, especially close to this wall, because this lava is going to provide more than enough light. Uh, you can tell I've dropped some, but I can be on the other side of these columns, and that lava is providing plenty of light. And I just think that's cool. I think it's a pretty awesome-looking uh, thematic element. So... Leave me a comment. Let you know. Let me know what you think. Uh, almost regardless, though, I'm probably not going to change it. If anything, um, the plan is potentially uh, to extend it all the way around. I don't know whether I'll go through that much trouble or not, but uh, maybe. I'll hop down here just in case uh, you didn't watch the last episode. You can see what we did, or if you didn't watch all the way to the end, we finished this little glass bridge thing. Uh, and our nether portal. And I do still intend to probably go to the nether this episode, uh, but we'll see. Um, right now, what I want to do is, oh, uh, safety third, but you can notice I installed some handrails uh, because I think that they're required by law. And I don't have handrails over here, so somebody's going to fall off this step and get themselves hurt. Uh, and then they're going to sue me. And then all of my Minecraft assets are going to be frozen. And don't be ridiculous. You can't be sued in Minecraft. Uh, anyway, so let's catch a quick sleep. Um, what I do need to do before I go do anything else, and I keep saying this over and over and over again, but I really need to do it because I have all of these levels and I need to uh, get rid of them so I can go adventuring and get more levels. Uh, but what you don't want to do is keep stockpiling levels uh, until kingdom comes because if you were to die if I were to die uh, I would lose them and that would be awful 
So what I'm going to do is take a jog up here to the house, which we still haven't had moving day yet. And that also is coming. Maybe I could finish that. No, I'll probably finish that off camera because really what it's going to amount to is I've already moved all the miscellaneous junk. Uh, but what I need to do is actually tear down the house. Um, and that's what's going to happen. See if you'll notice, I already cleaned these out. So uh, whatever. Um, what I am going to do, and we got to do our enchanting from the bed, so i got to put the bed back. Uh, what I'm going to do is uh, make a couple books and then enchant them. I'm going to go about this a different way, and it's something that I don't believe I've shown you guys yet. But what you can do with your levels of enchant. Now, this is going to mean that I am going to have to get uh, to make, not get, but make an anvil. And I'll tell you more about that in a little bit or in a later episode when I actually go to use these things. But what you can do with your levels is you can actually place a book in there the same way you would place your items. So, like this, I can activate. Oh, tell me I can get it. Yes. I would activate our enchanting table. I can take this book. Whoops. I just want one book. I can place it in there. And I can place up to a level 30 enchant on the book. Now, I don't know whether this is a good idea or not, but what I'm actually going to do this time is do two level 15s. That may be a terrible idea, and I may regret it, but I'm going to do it anyways. So, enchanting book. Ah, I already regret it. Crap. Bane of Arthropods. So, Bane of Arthropods, uh, let's just pretend your whole life mission was to go and destroy spiders, right? Bane of Arthropods would be awesome if that's all you were ever going to do. Otherwise, it's relatively pointless. So, I am going to get 15s. I am one of those people that believes in level 1, level 15, level 30. You really shouldn't be enchanting anything else. Let's just hope this one's not as crappy. Oh, now that's not too bad. That's kind of a weird one. Uh, protection 2 and Fortune 1. Protection 2, which is defensive. Fortune 1, which is... Um, sort of a drops slash my, I don't know I don't really know how to take that right now but I don't hate it and um, it is what it is I am going to go ahead and break this stuff up and you're going to notice right away that I'm going to lose uh, some resources let's stack these buckets up because that just looks dumb you're going to tell right away that I'm going to lose some of these resources because when you break these uh, bookcases they turn into books but you don't get the wood back so I told, just told you just now that I wasn't going to move all this stuff and I'm not going to tear the whole house down, but I am going to go ahead and break these things up and take them with me uh, in preparation for a move. So boom, you get to keep that. That's really good. I think a long time ago it used to break up into several pieces, um, but now it doesn't do that. So awesome. Uh, but basically, so I showed you enchanting books. That's something you can do. And uh, once you get that done, uh, the enchanting of the books, that is, you'll have to... I'm going to stick this up here in my cool stuff. I'll put the books in here, too. Uh, this one and this one. And I'll put my regular books in here, too, because I don't need them. Um, let's see, what else don't I need? Uh, I don't need that paper and leather. Put the paper in here. But the leather is going to go back over here. Um, anyway, so you can enchant books, and you do need a anvil to put it on an item, and we'll get to that soon. Uh, the reason I'm not going to do it right now, I, mm, okay, why not? I actually do have more than enough resources. Let's just go ahead and make it. So you're going to make an anvil. You're going to need some iron blocks. Now, just so you know, when we when we dig stuff out of the ground and we get those iron ores, then you smelt those and you get iron ingots. And then you take nine iron ingots and it makes an iron block. So this is telling me right now that I could make seven of them. Now I know already I just need three of them. So I'm not going to make seven of them because that would be wasteful. Waste not, want not. But I do need three of them. So now I have my iron blocks. I put them across the top and I'm going to take my iron ingots and I'm going to make a base. So if you'll notice straight away, it looks like an anvil. That makes sense. Minecraft, they did go through a lot of trouble to sort of make things look like the way they look. So we got ourselves an anvil. 
that's cool. Um, problem that I'm going to be torn with now is where do I put it that I don't hate life? Um, that looks like kind of a good spot. My eye saw it immediately. But my iron and stuff is over here. Hmm. Tell you what, I'm going to put it over here because that's the first place I saw and that's the first place I thought that is a good... Oh, of course, it's not centered. <clears throat> wow, my Minecraft OCD is really kicking in. That's okay. I'm going to put it here. Boom. And so just to give you kind of a brief idea how this works, if you've never seen an anvil before, so you would open up your anvil by right-clicking, same as always, and then let's just pretend I wanted to uh, enchant this iron sword. It's not really enchanting, so don't call it enchanting, I guess. You can, uh, well, you do enchant it, but you enchant it using books. And you can also use this to repair. There's a few different things you can do. So I think I can do this, and then maybe this, and you can see right now, I don't know how many it actually cost. Let's see if I can figure this out. See, okay, I can tell by one, it's partially repaired. Two, it's a little bit more. Three, not quite full. Four, oh, still not quite full. Five is calling it completely full. So if I wanted to take this sword and repair it, it would cost me five enchantment, five levels of experience, and five pieces of iron. Now, for an iron sword, you can already tell that's ridiculous because you can make a new iron sword for two pieces of iron and one stick. So you'd be really, really, really dumb to replace an iron sword that way. But you could do it if you wanted to. Now, also, and i got to run back over here and grab this book that I didn't bring with me. Let's just pretend I kept these and run, 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 run back over here. I could take this uh, sword. I could put... Bane of Arthropods is two on it, and in the same fashion, it's going to tell me right away it's going to cost me three experience points just to add this uh, book to it. So just to add this ability of Bane of Arthropods, it would cost me three points of experience. And I could change the name if I wanted to, but you can tell right away if I call it uh, stupid, it would cost me... 10 levels of experience, 10 experience points to uh, put that name on this sword that we didn't have Bane of Arthropods too. So it would in fact be stupid uh, to do that. So let's take this out before we end up screwing it up. Anyways, that gives you a brief idea of how the, uh, whatever that thing was called, um, I can't remember now. The anvil. It gives you a brief idea. That was really bad. Uh, it gives you a brief idea of how the anvil works. It is useful. Let's just pretend. So we have this efficiency 4 and I'm breaking 3 pickaxe, which is pretty awesome. If it gets down to pretty low and I wanted to fix it, you can combine it with other diamond pickaxes. I could also just apply diamonds to it to fix it. There's a, a couple things I could do which might end up making sense. So it's not to say it's never useful. It's just to say... Uh, use it wisely and make sure you're getting a good uh, return on your investment. So uh, we fixed, you saw the lava wall, which I still think is completely awesome. Uh, you saw the, um, saw the nether portal. We made an anvil. We enchanted books. We picked up our enchanting area which we stuck in there for now I tell you what I have an idea uh, I said I wasn't sure whether we were gonna go there but we are going to go ahead and go into the nether I figure why not let's check it out so first things first I want to make sure I have tools uh, I have a diamond sword um, you don't need any of that I don't need shears um, I will tell you Okay, hang on, let's run over here. I will tell you a tip that I do try to use, which is called, when you're going to the nether, do take a stack of dirt. And when we get in there, for those of you who have never seen the nether, um, you'll get to see a few things. It doesn't do me any good to have a bucket of water uh, in the nether because water doesn't work in the nether. Um, and you don't necessarily need, whoa, just, just put that anywhere. Uh, and you don't necessarily need torches, and all these kinds of things will become uh, obvious to you in a minute. So let me get myself squared away. Where did I put that stuff? No, okay, I did put it in here. 
<clears throat> that's why you need the item frames because it should oh that's what I was gonna do before we go to the nether let me go jam this wood in here and then I will show you how to make an item frame real quick so let's get okay. good lord I need the item frames you can tell why I need the item frames real bad so we need some of these uh, what did I need I needed let's think I need sticks and I need I need to sleep oh lord all right, I'll be right back. Okay, guys, and we're back. Uh, sorry about that. Um, anyways, what you need is leather, which you put in the middle. And then think of it kind of like, uh, it's the same way you make a painting. And of course, I didn't show you how to make a painting yet. So you may not know how to do that either. But you take sticks, put them all the way around the outside. You put your leather in the middle. And then you get item frames. So these are really cool. I'll just grab up. I'll need a bunch of them. I won't make them all right now, but uh, I'll show you more uh, later. But at any rate, you take your item frames and you go over to a chest that is desperately in need of an item frame like these. And remember what I do is left is top, right is bottom. Uh, these two actually, because I'm going to have so much generally of this supply, are going to be the same. So I could not waste it for now and not put two of them. Uh, anyways, all you need is one of the items. So I've placed the item frame on the wall. Then you need the one of the items that you want to show up. So the downside is if I was going to do this with diamonds, I would actually have to leave a diamond in the item frame. Now you can always get it back, but then once I just right click in the frame, boom. So now I can tell right away that I have cobblestone in the top. Can't tell what I have in the bottom, except that I know over here I have two chests, two double chests for cobblestone. So that's cool. That's the way the item frames work. Um, I'll put one over here and I might as well just go ahead and put another one here because I know that's where I'm going to put it and then we'll round this up real quick. So let's go ahead and munch on, whoop, whoop, I accidentally hit the anvil. Let's grab the steak and let's head into the nether. So for those of you who are brand new to Minecraft, you are in for a treat as far as seeing the nether. And basically, the way it works is, where we are now is kind of an overworld. So this is the regular world above ground. And then some people call the nether like hell world or underworld or some other thing. You can just call it the nether. Um, and also, if you watched the last video, you'll know that I put glass behind here. And it will become obvious as to why, because when I come back out, I'll be a little disoriented and the last thing I don't want to do is walk right into lava on the back side of my nether portal. So um, I take a stack of dirt with me because dirt doesn't exist in the nether, which you'll see in a minute. It's a good way to mark your path. Uh, it's also a good way to um, make towers and stuff that you can see from a long distance away. So without further ado, here we go. Now this is going to take a second and it probably will be laggy because it's the first time I've gone to the nether on this world. Oh, there's a sheep in the nether. Whoa, no, 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 go, go. It's the first time I've been to the nether on this world. Now, if it seems like I'm being a little jumpy, it's because I have to be really careful. In the nether, there are a lot of things that want to kill you. And one of them will be what are called ghasts. And they're these big square flying looking things. So anyways, what I was saying is um, this is like the hell world or the underworld. So while I give you a little bit of an explanation, I'm going to dig into this hole right here, just in the side of this wall, just so I can talk and not have to worry about dying right away. Um, so it's a little bit laggy because this is the first time I've ever been to the nether in this world. So it's actually loading all the chunks like it would do in the normal overworld. Oh, if you look up there, look, pigmen. So pigment, oh, and there's also a, um, a fortress. That brick means that that's another fortress, which is awesome that we spawned where we can see one because we would be going to look for one of those soon enough. So there's some cool things. You can grab up all of this stuff. It mines, this stuff mines really easy, as you can tell. I'm just using an iron pick. This stuff's called nether rack, and uh, it mines up really easy, breaks really fast. It's kind of cool to build in the overworld with it. Um, and as you'll also notice, the reason they call it the hell world, I mean, look around. First off, there's like an army of pigmen. Pigmen are interesting because if you attack them, so if I walk down there and just smooth punch one of those dudes in the head, all of the pigmen in the area, 
every one of them would be drawn to me and they would all become hostile. Oh my God, look how many there are. And a sheep. That sheep's my hero and he'll probably be here forever. So it's awesome. Uh, plus, since he's come through the nether portal, he won't despawn ever, which is also kind of awesome. Oh, he burned. Never mind. Uh, <laughs> so we spoke too soon. Bye bye, buddy. But I will get the wool because why not? That was hilarious. Uh, the sheep walked into the fire and died. So anyways, what was I saying? Oh, yeah. Uh, Pigman. If I hit one, everyone in the vicinity will become hostile towards me and they will all actively seek me out and try to kill me. So sucks to be them. And you also notice, I mean, there's lava just everywhere. Massive lava pools and it just exists all over. So while you can't make a quote in quote infinite lava source, once you have a nether portal, you never really have to worry about it again because uh, you'll never run out of lava. I could go down there to a lava pool and I could dip lava buckets until uh, the cows come home and it would never matter. What you do have to be careful of and the reason why uh, when I see a ghast, you'll understand why because they shoot these fireballs at you. But if I'm standing on something that would break and drop directly into a lava pool, I'm going to die. No questions asked. So it's a good reason to not bring a whole lot of valuables uh, into the nether, which what did I do? But I brought a couple of pretty beast mode pickaxes. Um, and I am, no, I'm not enough of a chicken. I was going to say I'm enough of a chicken that I'm going to go back. But so nether rack, this right here, soul sand. Uh, yep, well, I was just making sure. Oh, no, that is gravel. I didn't, I wonder if that's new. Hey guys, so guess what? Uh, the video ran a little bit long on this episode, so I am going to cut it into two pieces. Uh, we're going to make it basically videos, uh, what are we, seven and then video eight. I uh, had to cut it here, but don't worry. Uh, the next portion of it is going to be coming right out. Uh, they'll probably be released at the same time, but I just want to let you know what was going on and stay tuned for the second part of our nether adventure. Thanks guys. Do smash that like button. Thank you.